What's up? What's up? What up, Queen? You get that lamb situation figured out? What up? What up? Lauren, Justin, what up, people? Happy Saturday. Carlos, my guy, what's good? What is good? Hope you guys enjoying your day, man. All I'm going to say is, it's a beautiful day out here in Atlanta. It's like 80 degrees, and I'm inside with y'all because I committed to it. So that says a lot about me, you know? <laughs> um, what up, King of State? Oh, Lauren, that's so sweet. There's other ones working hard. <laughs> Caleb, my guy. Watch some YouTube videos. Uh, JC was good. Crawford was happening. Um, yeah, man. So we about to get this cold call role play session going today. I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't know if you guys were uh, in the role play last time, but that shit was amazing. It was lit. Uh, it was active. You know what I'm saying? It was fun. You know what I mean? It was a lot of a lot of knowledge being given out as well. Um, so I hope we have at least three people who aren't afraid to get on the live with me and go through this role play so we all can learn and get better. You know what I mean? I can learn, you know? Um, I got Noah. Shout out from Lisbon, Portugal. All right. Portugal in the building. Um, appreciate it, man. Just a little pull pullover. You know what I mean? It's light. It ain't nothing crazy. Um, I'm trying to change the swag up in the real estate space. You know what I'm saying? I'm not coming like you know, with the polo button up and, you know, looking all, you know, cornball. No offense to anybody out there. You know, I'm just trying to change it up a little bit. Put my little spin on it. Uh, we got the little polo pullovers, too. You know what I mean? Just, you know, just to have it. But I like the windbreakers. I like the the the, the zip, the quarter zips. That's what I'm on. You know, fly jackets and shit. The, the trucker hats, not the regular dad hats or whatever. The trucker hats, you know what I'm saying? We in style. Um, Royal Lotus, role play with me. I'll win. Okay, we're going to see. We're going to see. Uh, we're going to let the room fill up a little bit. Uh, in the meantime, um, first thing I always like to do, right? Uh, whenever we're in a room full of people that's kind of interested in the same thing that we're interested in, uh, it's, it's a great opportunity to network, right? So um, what I want you guys to do, if you don't mind, a lot of you guys already know how I like to go, how I like to roll. So if you don't mind, just comment in the comments below what market that you are working out of and whether or not you're a wholesaler, you're a realtor, uh, or you're an actual cash buyer, uh, flicks and flipper, whatever. So um, just comment the city, the state that you work out of. Oh, my guy, Sir Faust, my guy, Nate, the great. <laughs> That's the winner right there from last time. He said nobody taking the crown, so we're going to see. We might turn this into a little tournament. Uh, but, yeah, if you guys don't mind, just comment the market that you're networking in um, because you may be able to help somebody out. Uh, you guys may be able to JV on some deals. You guys may be able to partner up on some deals, uh, things like that. So uh, you guys definitely want to network and take the opportunity, take advantage of the opportunity to network, especially if you uh, if you haven't been – uh, going out to any events in your market, in your area, this is where you can do it. You know, like I said, we got about 18 people here right now. So go ahead and just comment the market that you out of and maybe connect with somebody in here that can help you close some deals and you guys can make some money. Uh, so we got my guy, Caleb, he in Texas. So anybody in Texas, hit up my guy, Caleb. He's closing deals. Uh, Lauren, realtor in Atlanta and Bama. Okay, okay. Uh, we got Queen, Birmingham, Alabama, Montgomery, Alabama. That's a connection right there. Um, David Rojas, Delaware, Wholesale in Delaware. Gustavo, DFW, Texas. So that's Dallas, Fort Worth. Uh, we got Columbus, Georgia, and Toledo, Ohio. Uh, we got REI, -E Adrian, uh, Baltimore, Wholesaling. Uh, we got Land in Florida and North Carolina. All right, cool. So we got we got a, a different. We got people all across the country right here. You know what I mean? And hell, it was already two connections that I seen was made just then. So uh, just make sure you guys comment the market that you work out of, the city, state, and what you're doing in that market. Um, so I'm gonna go over the rules really quick. 
Um, you know, the rules are simple. You know what I mean? Uh, so we're going to do a cold call role play today, right? So there's only going to be three contestants, three, only three, right? So the three contestants, the way that the three contestants will be selected is I will ask a question, right? The first person to comment the question in the question box correctly, that will be the person that's selected to join the live with me in role play, okay? Um, so it's going to be very interactive. So um, if you guys are not afraid to join the role play and you know the answer to the question and you want to get up here, uh, when I ask the question, go ahead and comment the right answer in the comment box. And then the first person that comments the right answer, then that's who's going to be selected to come up and do the role play. All right. Once you, once that person is selected to do the role play, I'll send an invite to join the live with me. Uh, from there, I'll act as the homeowner and you will act as the wholesaler, buyer, uh, however you want to put yourself, investor. Uh, you will act as that person. I'm going to give you one objection. I might throw another one in there. I might throw two objections in there. And your job is to do your thing. If you got a script in front of you, read the script. I don't care. Um, do what you do, how you would do it if I was an actual real seller, right? Um, there's a no judgment zone. Everybody's here to learn. Nobody's the best. There's no such thing as the best call, cold caller or best acquisitions, close or anything like that because everybody does things differently. Um, so this is an opportunity. The reason why we're doing this, this is an opportunity for everybody to learn, right? Because somebody might role play and might say something that, oh, okay, I never thought of that, right? Hell, that even happens for me. You know, my guy last time when uh, Sir Faust, when he came up here, he said something that I didn't even think of, right? Um, so we can implement those things that other people are saying, other people's styles and kind of see how they go about doing the business, right? Um, so it's an opportunity to learn. And then after the call is done, I'll cut the call. And then um, I'll ask you for some feedback, the caller, right? Let's give yourself some, some feedback. And then um, obviously the audience, the people with viewers, you guys can comment your feedback as well, respectfully, respectfully, no disrespect, respectfully, okay? Um, and then um, I'll give some feedback and then uh, we'll go to the next person, right? And then after all three people have went and done their role play, uh, we're going to have a, a voting process, right? The voting is going to be done by the viewers, you, the viewers. Uh, so essentially, um, we're going to go through all the calls and then the viewers are going to vote for the person who they felt had the best call or did the best role play. And once that person is selected, then that person will be granted. Um, they'll get a, 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 call, a, a Zoom call one on one with myself and then I'm going to throw another thing in there. I'm also going to add you into uh, my private group, Wholesale Unity, private disc Discord group, Wholesale Unity, uh, for free. Uh, so the winner will get the Zoom call one-on-one -on -one with me for an hour. Um, and then the winner will also get access to the private Discord group chat, Wholesale Unity. And uh, yeah, so that's the winner. That's the prize. All right. So if you guys understand that, Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. If you guys are ready, give me a thumbs up um, so we can go ahead and get this party started. Go ahead, comment, 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 thumbs up so I can know that everybody's ready to rock and roll. Because I am ready to get this thing going. I'm excited. And then what I'm probably going to do, we're probably going to have a battle of three people and then we'll probably do like a grand prize for the best one so i'll probably we'll probably bring sir faust back up here the winner from the first round and then the winner from this round and then when we do another round we'll have all three of those people compete and do the role play again and then have a a, a grand winner you know what i mean i might throw some money some money on the line you know what i mean who knows all right cool 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 so we about to get started. Um, so if everything makes sense, sounds like everything makes sense. Everybody's on board. I got a lot of thumbs up coming in. So cool. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go for contestant number one. Contestant number one. Um, <laughs> let me go ahead and pin that. <laughs> let 
Best of luck to all the callers today. This is not a lightweight belt, says my guy. <laughs> uh, so we're going to go and choose the first role play caller. Uh, I'm going to ask the question. The first person that comments the question correctly in the box, that's who's going to get invited up here to conduct the role play. All right. So, ah, uh, shit, my dog with his squeaky toy. Come here. Come, 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 come. Come, 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 come. All right, he thinks I threw it over there. All right, got to trick him sometimes. Now he's looking crazy, looking everywhere for us. <laughs> All right, so the first question is this. You guys ready for the question? All right, get your thumbs ready. Get ready to type. Get ready to type. It's not going to be anything crazy off the wall. It's going to be very simple uh, just to make sure that we understand what we're doing when it comes to this wholesaling thing, right? So it's all wholesale re related and things like that. So get your thumbs ready. So question number one for contestant number one. What is the name of the agreement sent to buyers? What is the name of uh, the agreement sent to buyers? First person comments will be selected correctly. Who we got? Y'all scared to type. Scared to type. I'll repeat it again. Hold on, hold on. We got she ref Lessa Daniel assignment agreement. Assignment agreement is the correct answer. So we're gonna go ahead and bring bring her up. B role play number one. Yo. Hey, how's it going, y'all? What's up? Yeah, it's um and just you know FYI, it's pronounced Lisa. Nisa, okay. Lisa, I got you. yeah. Correct so, me if I'm wrong. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Keep me on my toes. Sounds right. good. So what's going on? You good? How you living? I am. Um, I mean, you know, uh transitioning from teaching uh into higher education. So now I just I have a desk job that I'm not happy with, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to look at other avenues. So mm -hmm. um my spouse is a realtor. Okay. Um, so she's got me involved kind of in the real estate game. So I think that because I don't have a license, wholesaling is a perfect outlet. So absolutely. What market are you in? I'm in Texas. Texas? What 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 city? Austin. Austin. Yeah. Okay. We got yeah. some Texas people. Anybody in <laughs> Texas, go ahead and connect with Nisa. Go ahead and connect. 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 All right. Uh we got a couple people in Texas in here. They're doing things, man. So uh go ahead and give her a follow, hit her up in her inbox, let her know what's good. Only people that are active now. We ain't sending nobody, ain't doing no business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We ain't working. We don't want those, right? All right, so cool. How long you been into the you been into the wholesale space? Again, I posted in uh, your little chat a few minutes ago. I'm brand spanking new, so I'm starting to get uh, okay. to do driving for dollars. Um, I think I use the app PropStream, whatnot. <laughs> um, I and then I use Zillow uh, for sale by buyer uh, for sale. By oh. buyer's order, by owner, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And um, I see some good deals, but again, I'm freezing on them. I don't know how to react, so. Okay, well, this is what this is for, right? So let's go ahead and let's chop it up. So I'm just going to explain. So what I'm going to do is I'm acting as the seller, right? Mm -hmm. You're acting as you, trying to buy the property, right, as a wholesaler, investor. Um, I'm going to give you an objection. We're going to role play, ring, 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 ring. I answer the phone. Um, and you just do your thing. However you do it, if you have a script in front of you, by all means, you can use that. Um, you don't have to try to freestyle or anything like that. Just do you, right? As if I was an actual seller uh, that you that has a property that you're interested in buying, right? So uh, I'll give you an, ob an objection. I might throw another one in there. Uh, and then we just work and navigate your way through the call, all right? Okay. I you ready? I do my best. All right, so if you want, I can turn the screen, my screen off. You can turn your screen off. It was a little awkward for you. However you want to do it, you know, yeah, it's up I'm, to you. Uh, I'm already on here. I'm fine. It don't matter. Yeah, I'm not even going to look at you. I'm look away. <laughs> I do a lot of look aways when I do this. So, all right, let's get going. So you're going to call me up. Just go ahead and ring, 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 and then we'll get going. All right, ring, ring. Hello? Hey, is this the owner over at such and such property? Yeah. Who's calling? Hey, uh, uh, well, my name is Lisa. I'm with uh, Whistle Home Solutions. Um, I was passing by and I was trying to see if you would be interested in um, in uh, taking a cash offer for your property. 
Uh, not not right now. Not at this time. All right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, can I ask you maybe how long you've uh, been in this neighborhood? Uh, I've been living here for about 15 years. Okay. Uh, did you raise your family here? Because I'm from this area. Um, and, you know, I've been up and through it here. So uh, seeing a lot of people come and go. Yeah, I, you know, when I first moved in, you know, uh, me and my wife, we had, you know, our first child here. Yeah, so we've been here for a while now. It's a good area. Okay. So about 15, so your 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 son or daughter is in high school now? Yeah. You think they're going to, um, are they into uh, sports? A uh, little bit, a little bit of football and basketball. Football and basketball, yeah, those are my favorite sports right there. Mm -hmm. uh, so may, do they have college aspirations? Uh, that's the plan. You know, we haven't really discussed it too much as far as, like, direct schools that they want to go to. But, you know, we've been talking about it a little bit. So it sounds like uh, the child, as an athlete, may be interested in, you know, going off to college, pursuing um, that sport of their choice. Um, and it will be you and your wife left in the house uh, by yourself. How many bedrooms do y'all have? Uh, this one is a three-bedroom. Three bedroom. Okay. Um, y'all looking to stay in the area after the, the children go to college? Um, no, we're actually looking to move down to Florida at some point. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, that's what's up. Uh, Florida is a dope place to pretty much retire to. Um, you got nice beaches out there, especially in Fort Lauderdale. Um, I've been there a couple of times and I really enjoy the beaches out there. So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to waste your time or anything. And I know you said you weren't looking to sell, but just knowing that information, um, you know, maybe we can help you all along that journey um, to to possibly, you know, help out with your child going to college. Um, and then you guys also moving down to Florida so y'all can, you know, bask in the sun. Mm -hmm. That that sound pretty cool. Or, you know, maybe we can work on, um, you know, going down that path. Yeah, sure. That's not a problem. That's what's up. Okay. Um, well, uh, can you, you know, how long, well, you, get, you, you guys said that your kids about 15, still in high school. Um, I'm sure you guys aren't looking to move while they're in school because they will be really, really mad at you for t pulling them out of the high school and sending them someplace to make all new friends. So can you tell me a little bit more about your property? Uh, I mean, I'm not really looking to sell right now. What, what did you want to know? Um, I mean, you've been in it about 15 years, so, um, y'all looking at, you know, making any updates to the interior? Uh, not, not anymore. Uh, we thought about it, but we kind of changed our mind on it. Um, yeah, we, we don't want to put in the money for, to do that over the time. Okay. Okay. I hear that. Um, it's a lot of time when you have to, um, kind of fix uh something that you may not spend uh a lot of time in um if you you know if i could change your mind about selling your house you know you wouldn't have to actually make those repairs we would actually take care of that um and hopefully keep more money in your pocket so that you can start or add to that college fund that you may have um and then get y'all again to florida quicker so um, but, but okay. Um, I appreciate the time. Is there any time that I can possibly maybe follow up with you or, you know, work on some numbers and, um, see if, you know, maybe that's something, a price that we can kind of set, uh, to see if we can, um, you know, make this a, a deal or not. Yeah. Uh, just give me a call in about three months. Okay. Can I ask you a quick question? Sure. Uh, if if just off the top of your head, what do you think after staying in your uh, property for about 15 years, what do you think your house might be worth, uh, you know, for a cash offer? Uh, I'm not really sure. I haven't looked into it at all. So, yeah, I have no idea. So have you seen any uh, of your neighbors uh, staying around or, you know, uh, fixing up their houses? I haven't. Okay. Um, all right. Well, um, I'm going to save your number. Um, and also, do you have any other properties that you may be looking to sell? No, this is the only one we have. Only one. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
All right. Um, all right. Well, I'm gonna write your number down. Keep it uh keep it in my handy dandy notebook and I'm gonna follow up with you, run some numbers. Um, if you do think of a price that, you know, may sound good to you, hopefully I can uh get close to that or maybe hit it spot on. Okay. Sounds good, Lisa. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. And I didn't I do apologize. I talked my little head off. I did not get your name. Uh, my name is Ty. <laughs> All right, Ty. Well, it was a pleasure talking with you, and um, you'll hear from me soon. Sounds good. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. All right. What you think? <laughs> I think I talked too much. Ah, my friend. <laughs> One of them things I put on there. Yeah. A little bit long-winded. A little long-winded. What else? Um, I don't know, like, I think that the fact that they, like, you stated that, you know, you had a, you had a teenager, um, and then I, I gave the reasons why they shouldn't sell, honestly. I don't know if anybody caught that, but I feel like I gave the reasons why they shouldn't sh sell. Mm -hmm. So well, I, didn't, I didn't put too much into that, um. I just, I'm going to just tell you kind of what I thought here. So, uh, so your opening, it was a little choppy, need some work on that. I'll be honest with you. So when I go with the opening, right? So when you calling somebody, you should already have the owner's name. So you should already know who it is. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so the ending was a little eh, right. Cause it mm -hmm. should already know who they are. Right. Exactly. So the opening, my openings are more so assumptive. So it's like, uh, hey, Lisa, this is Ty with uh, Property Jet. How you doing? Mm -hmm. So you want to have more so of an assumptive opening. That way they're like, damn, who the hell is this talking to me like they know me? <laughs> yeah. And you kind of got their attention instead of, oh, hey, I'm looking for Lisa. No, you're not. Who's looking for me? Click. I don't know. Right? That's how you know that this, you kind of determine to tell the difference between a sales call versus somebody who you actually know, right? So mm -hmm. I will I will fix the opening up a little bit, be a little bit more assumptive. Like, hey, this, hey, Lisa, this is Ty calling about your house on Main Street. Would you be open to a cash offer on that house at all? Simple. You gave your name, who you are. You show that you knew who they were and let them know, went straight to the point, right, what you're looking for. Um, so I will work on that. The rapport was great. I have no issue with that. You did a great job with the rapport. Um, maybe a little bit too long in certain spots, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, did a good job, like, transitioning back into, like, the property condition when you asked about how many bedrooms, right? Now, what I would have liked was you to expand more on that, right? Because um, then you had jumped back into a little bit more rapport after that. So I did like the rapport. It was a little bit too long. Um, the transition into the condition was good. Uh, I would have hoped that you stayed there a little bit more to get more details about the house, right? I do like you, the, the, the report that the opening to your report was, well, how long have you lived in there? You know, I love that. Um, because that's what I use too, right? When I'm doing my, my calls, I'm finding out how long they lived there. Um, to try to, fit, oh, is that a rental property you bought? Was this a primary residence? Uh, what's kind of pointing you to the direction of selling? Things like that. That's what I'm asking in those in that area, right? Um, now, when I said, the, what was the objection that I gave you? Uh, I think in the first part, it was that you guys weren't looking to sell right now. Right now. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I would have probably tried to find out what's kind of delaying, you know, what's, yeah. what's kind of preventing you from making that decision right now. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And Kind of, you can kind of move it. You can kind of ease into it a little bit. Like, hey, if you don't mind me asking, right? So mm -hmm. when you're asking questions, that's a little bit personal or kind of like a little bit, that seems like a little bit personal because it could be real personal, right? Reason why they're not selling right now. Somebody could have passed away. Um, fi finances might not be, you know, situation might not be right as far as trying to get a new house. There's a whole lot of things that's probably holding somebody back. So that's a little bit of a touchy, touchy thing to kind of get into. So whenever I'm getting into something a little touchy, I hit them with a, a like like a little pre line opener. It's kind of like if you don't mind me asking, or um, out of curiosity, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what's kind of holding you back from moving forward or selling the house, right? And they could probably tell you, well, I'm looking to get a new house first. You know, it's kind of hard finding a new house in the market right now. So you can understand what the hell are they going through, and you yeah. can probably provide some more value. Okay, well, my wife, she's a realtor. Maybe I can 
I can I could give her your information and she can help you find a house. Yeah. Since you say you're having a hard time finding a house. So usually when I'm on the phone with somebody, I'm trying to provide value, even whether it's me giving them the value of selling the house to me or it's me helping them sell find a new house or whatever. However mm -hmm. else, however the hell I can provide value, that's how that's what I'm trying to do on every call. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what I would have did there. Um, you asked when would be a good time to follow up. Great. Great. I always do that. Um, the quick question, when you got another question, hey, quick question. Uh, one <laughs> last thing. Before I let you go, let me ask you this, right? Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. Great. 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 Um, let me see. Any other properties? Great. Always do that. Every call. So on, on every call, there's, there's certain things you say on every single call, no matter what. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And those are one and those are some of them, right? Um, and then since you're starting out, uh, this is what's gonna help you out the most. And I'm I'm gonna end it with that, right? So you wanna focus on the four pillars, right? Uh, and yeah. From Brent Daniels, TTP, right? Mm -hmm. um, when I first started, four pillars is what helped me out, right? And that's what helped me do my script and go through everything and, and whatnot. And understanding the four pillars, you can kind of talk to people without needing the script, right? So mm -hmm. what are the four pillars? You got the condition of the property. Mm -hmm. The timeline in which they want to sell or which they can't mm -hmm. sell, the motivation, why they want to sell, and then the price. So if you keep those in your mind, keep those in front of you, that's how you can guide yourself through the conversation so you don't miss any valuable information that you need, right? So mm -hmm. you could have got into uh, opening, rapport, condition, timeline, motivation, then the price. Yeah, and that's, that's, and that's what I was trying to do. But yeah. again, I, I wasn't working on a script. Uh, this yeah. was off the top of my head, and I'm trying to put together things that you have said in your videos. Um, I've mm -hmm. seen a couple of Brent Daniels, um, Flipman, and all of them. I think mm -hmm. for me, it's really creating that flow, working yep. through those four pillars. So yep. um, that's very helpful. This is honestly the first time that like I have <laughs> attempted to like you know talk to a an actual seller, even though you're fake. Like you're not fake, but you yeah, know, yeah. this isn't a real call. The role play, yeah. Exactly. So, but yeah, this, um, this just works. It's just really that flow of working through that, um, those four pillars. So. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nah, this was dope. I appreciate yeah. that. That's it. That's it. All right, Lisa, I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank gonna, you, Ty. Stay, stay tuned because the people are going to vote now. So stay tuned. Now everybody okay. in the group, everybody in the live, give it a little round of applause emoji in the comments for Lisa. Woo, woo, Texas, came up here. She's still fresh in the game, and she came up here and got on it and did a great job. I don't care what nobody say. So y'all go ahead and show love. Ain't no hate up in here. Clap it up for her. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate you. So. so stay tuned. Uh -huh. We're going to go ahead and get into the contestant number two. Okay, thanks. All right. I think you just hit the X to drop down, I think. Yeah, I'm like, how do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, okay, there we go. All right. All right, y'all. So that was great. That was good. What do you guys think about that? Number one, number one, contestant number one. She did good. She did good. She did good. Hey, that was her first time calling somebody, and I think she did a good job. You know, a few things that uh, we critiqued her on that she critiqued herself on, and she did a great job. She did a great job. I'm be honest with you. That's probably better than what I would have done on my first time. I'm not even going to lie to you. I was terrible. Um, let me go ahead and write down the IG so I don't forget. All right, boom. So, Shout out to Lisa. I got it right this time. Lisa, right? Got it right. All right. Shout out to her. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the, another, the next contestant. Um, but before we get into the next contestant, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and replay the rules real quick for everybody. Uh, we're going to do a little quick networking session. Once again, we got more people that joined in. So everybody who just joined in, uh, this is the cold call role play. This is the second one that we've been doing. Uh, as you see, that's pinned down, down right there on the bottom of the screen. That's the winner from the last one. The people voted him as the winner. Sir Faust, my guy, Nate. So we're looking for the second winner, right? So for everybody who's in the room, uh, we got 40 people in here. Go ahead and network. Go ahead and comment. If you don't mind, comment your city, your state, and where you are working at as far as your wholesaling or if you're a real, realtor or uh, if you're an actual cash buyer. Uh, there's people in here that you can connect with. Uh, that you can probably make some money with. My partner, I met him on Instagram. 
So, and we've made a lot of money together so far, and there's more to come. So you guys, you might be able to connect with somebody in your market. I'm gonna go ahead and shout out some people that's, that's commenting so you guys can reach out and follow. Now, when you connect with people, don't just connect one time and don't follow up. You have to be consistent and follow up, all right? Be intentional about networking and connecting with people. Uh, so we got we got the Unity in the group right here, Lion Air Investments out of Atlanta, wholesaler, Lauren, realtor in Atlanta and Alabama. So if you guys need a connection to a realtor, you got one right here, Atlanta and Alabama, realtor. Uh, realtor is a very person, important person to have on your team as a wholesaler. Uh, we got D Constantly, Philadelphia. We got Alex Mizo in Jersey. Uh, two Skiller. We got Alex Mizo right above you in Jersey. Big Quattro, Atlanta. Friendly Finesse, Miami. Uh, we got Danny, real estate investor in South Florida. My boy Sir Faust in Baltimore, Maryland. Southeast Michigan, Mike. Uh, who else we got? We got uh, my, my guy Ed, Georgia boy in Gwinnett, Hall County, Atlanta. We got Notorious, no, Notorious, Notorious, New York, New Jersey. Hit me up, he said. Connect, connect. Uh, we got Wholesaler in Houston, Texas. We got Royal Lotus Jewelry, Southwest Florida. Montrepreneur, that's my girl right there. Um, Dallas, Texas again. Do, 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 do. Uh, ba, 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 ba. All right, cool. So we networked a little bit. So now we're about to get on to contestant number two. Uh, contestant number two, right? So I'm going to go ahead and ask a question, right? It's going to be wholesale, real estate based. The first person to comment the correct answer in the chat box correctly, that's who's going to get selected to come up and join the live on the role play, all right? So if you guys are ready for the question, go ahead and give me a thumbs up in the comment box, please. Let me know if we're ready to go for contestant number two. Thumbs up in the comment box. Let's get busy. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Shout out my guy, Real Estate Mike in the building. <laughs> my guy, Real Estate Mike. If you guys need a podio build out specifically for wholesaling, hit up Real Estate Mike. He got one. He'll get you right. He'll set you up. All right, so we got the thumbs ups coming in. I got the thumbs ups coming in. All right, so everybody, get your fingers ready. Get your thumbs ready, right? I'm about to ask the second question. About to ask the second question for the second contestant. All right. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What is the most accurate source of finding comps? What is the most accurate source of finding comps? Go ahead and comment in the chat box below. First answer correctly is going to get pulled up. Who we got? Quickly, 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 quickly. MLS, OG Cayenne. We're going to go ahead and bring him up. Keon, I probably said the name all wrong, man. My bad. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys know your shit. You guys know your shit. Oh, man, he don't want to come up. You scared? Come on, Keon. You don't want to come up. I'll send you one more request. And then the next answer, next person is going to come up. Come on, Keon. Come on now. Yeah, he didn't want to come up. He didn't want to come up, but he wanted to get the answer correctly. So we're going to go down to the next correct person, Carlos Silva. Carlos, my guy. We're going to go ahead and bring Carlos up. You should have. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to end up on the live. Ah, uh, nah. I see you. I see you talking about the top, man. <laughs> oh, dang it. All right. Well, let's get it, I guess. What's up, dude? What's up, what's up? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, man. How, how's business? Uh, nah. Uh, well, I, I just started CoCon recently, so, yeah, it's, I got a couple leads, but that's about it. Okay. Hey, you working. You working. What what market are you out of? Uh, well, I'm actually doing San Antonio right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm actually, you know, from Pasadena, but, you know, I'm doing San Antonio. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, anybody in Texas, anybody in Texas, connect with my guy Carlos. You heard what he said. He just started doing some cold calling. He got some leads. So, if you guys are in Texas, you probably got some buyers for him. That's who you need to reach out to. He got some leads that he working. So, uh, go ahead and connect with my guy. All right. 
So you yeah, I, yeah I sorry about my hair, you know, I just woke up. <laughs> you just woke up? Yeah. Dude, it's one thirty. No, no, I woke up a couple hours ago, of course, but, you know, I haven't really got enough for my... It's just, I'm, I'm on my laptop right now trying to call, but then I saw you were going last, so you know what? I got to hop on the live real quick. All right, let's get busy then. Let me get you back to work. Let's get busy. All right, cool, cool. And you can get ready, all right? Uh -huh. So, you know the deal, right? We're going to... Yeah. Protection. Just call me up. Ring, ring, ring. <clears throat> call you up. I'm going to give you protection. I might give you two. I might give you three. Go ahead and do your thing, all right? All right, all right. Whenever you got those leads, I want you to try to turn me into a lead. I need to be real quick, little bit nervous. All right. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Right. Do your thing. You 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 true to this, right? Hello, hello, Ty. Hey, hey, Ty. This is Carlos. You know, I, I hope you're having a good day and everything. But um, I was calling about your property on uh, Ten Twenty Drive. I was calling to see if you'd be interested in the cash offer or looking to sell that property there. Um, I mean, I I am looking to sell, but I'm pretty sure you're <laughs> too low. Oh, hey, pardon? I, I didn't hear that. Your offer is going to be too low, man. No, no, no. No, hey, but, you know, we do give uh, fair offers. And not only that, we do pay all cash, you know, and there's no, you know, there is no really commissions whenever, you know, giving you your offers. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not just going to give my house away, man, you know? Yeah, I, I get what you mean, man. But, you know, yeah, we do give, uh, you know, fair off, you know, fair offers on that property there. You know, can I know a little bit more about the property's condition for me to give you that fair offer right there? I mean, what what do you need to know? Oh, well, you know, when's the last time you didn't, you know, repairs on, uh, repairs or updates on the property there in the last five years? Uh, I haven't done any repairs or updates at all. Okay, I understand, I understand. So, so you're telling me it's, you know, it's all, you know, original? Uh, yeah, for the most part, yep. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. All, all right, we'll tell you, you know, if, if, you, if you would have to do any repairs, repairs on, the, on the property, what would you do to it? Um, I would probably update the kitchen. Um, the bathrooms, uh, you know, flooring and paint, stuff like that. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, well, you know, we'll tell you, know, tell me this, you know, well, besides getting the right price, you know, what is another reason why you'd consider selling? Well, the market is hot right now, you know. Everybody's getting good money for their houses, so why not, you know, cash it in? Uh, the market's hot. Okay, I get it. You know, how long have you been living there, Ty? Uh, I've been here about 10 years now. 10 years? Oh, you know. How's it been, you know, those past 10 years, you know, living there? Oh, it's good, man. It's a great area, you know, um, nice neighbors and everything. I, I, I like it, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I get what you mean. All right, well, you know, we'll tell you, know, let's say, you know, if, 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 we're, if, we're, if we're able to make an offer that, you know, that works, uh, you know, that works for you and that makes you happy, you know, when do you see yourself uh, selling the property and closing escrow by? Uh, if the if the numbers make sense, man, you know, we can, we can, you know, we can close, you know, I need to still move out. So probably what, 30, 30 days or so. Uh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. All right. All righty. Well, how much are you looking to get for it, Ty? Uh, you called me, man. What's, what's the offer? Oh, well, you know, I would love to give you an offer, but, you know, but my draft for this phone call is actually to, is to gather and collect the information for me to, you know, come back, you know, come back with an offer. You know, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so, you know, well, if, if you could give me a ballpark on the, you know, on the property there, you know, what would you say, you know, would you say, you know, how much would you say you're looking to get for it? Well, I, I'm not sure. Well, I know my neighbor, they sold theirs for 200000 Two two hundred thousand. 200000 Oh, okay. You know, are, are you looking to get more? Are you looking to get less? I would like to get more. You know, you know my house is a little bit bigger than theirs. You know, how much more? Would you say that like 10000 more, 20000 more? As much more as I possibly can get. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Okay, well, um, okay, well, tell you know, I I would have to look, you know look over the property. I would have to send the this information over to my analyst, you know, for him to be able to cre create, you know, create you a smart, intelligent offer. Is that is that cool with you? Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so can I call you back in this? Uh, can I call you back on, on this number there? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, awesome, awesome. I will. Uh, could we? Call, can I call you back tomorrow? You know, probably at three. Yeah, that's that's fine. That'll work. Okay, awesome, awesome. All right, well, thank you so much, Ty. You know, I hope you have a good one. All right, sounds good. Dang, I got nervous. <laughs> like, What's up? I, I, started, I started choking. Oh, I started choking. I was like, dang it. I'm getting nervous. I know he's looking at me right now. They look at you at one time, brother. I look at you all time. All right. So what do you think, man? What do you think? How do you think you did? Nah, I started, you know, choking. I was like, oh, I started getting nervous. I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. The whole time. <laughs> What, what, nah, dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh -huh. I think you did a great job. Yeah, thank you. 
No, I'm gonna give you some critique really quick, right? Uh huh. Go ahead. The only the main critique that I is your pace. Main party? Your pace. On my pace, yeah, I was going a bit too fast. You were talking way too fast, right? <laughs> I got, oh yeah, I was. I, was there. I don't talk as fast as you. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, just you gotta slow it down a little bit. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's that's the main thing. But other than that, dude. Um, you were gathering a lot of information that's required, that's necessary. You was able to get a number out, which is good. Um, you built a little rapport there. You threw a little jab at rapport, which is good. Um, dude, you did a whole lot of good things. You know, the condition, um, you could have dug in a little bit more. Hey, how old is the roof? Um, you know, when was the roof last replaced, right? Yeah, I forgot, about, it, I forgot about that. Uh, yeah. yeah, it comes to the condition, right? Um, we want to know what those high ticket items, you know, how what the what the age are in them high ticket items. If the roof is twenty five years old, we might have to replace that. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? So we want to know how old that roof is. Um, so when you ask in condition, you say, okay, what things would you do? Great question. Sound like you can't you got that from me? Um, <laughs> I probably did. <laughs> to be honest with you, <laughs> hey, if you were to update the house, what would you do to it? Right? And yeah. I said, you know, kitchen, bathrooms, flooring, and paint. Right? Then that's when you go into, okay, well, how old is the roof? Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And when was the last time you updated? You got the, you know, the water heater, you know, replaced or all that stuff, right? You get into those mm -hmm. high ticket items a little bit. Um, but overall, you did great. Uh, another Thank thing you. that I would add to you, to what you're doing right now, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing mm -hmm. what you're doing. Like I said, just tweak that, that pace, slow down your pace a little bit. But like yeah. I said, you're nervous. So that's probably the nerves a little bit, right? Yeah. I mean, if you got to take a shot to slow down a little bit, slow it down. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what I would do, you did a good job of saying, hey, I'm going to get back with my analyst, get you a number. My job is to get the information. Great job right there. Um, but before you get off the phone with that person, I would say this. I would say, hey, let me get your email. In the meantime, let me send you some company information so you can look at it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that, I agree. That way, if you can see something. And you know that they're serious or not. They gave me their email. They're a little bit serious about selling their house. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, they enjoyed the conversation. So it's like, hey, let me get your email. Let me shoot your company information so you can review. And then I'll give you a call with an offer and see what we can do, if we can make that work. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that would be the only thing I would add to what you're doing. Get that email and tell them that you're going to send some company information. But don't do that on every call. Only do it on the calls where the seller is motivated right and mm. i talked about he gave you pretty much all the information you needed he gave you a price and everything that's when you do it you know what i'm saying mm. um and you're saying and you did hit him with the analyst thing say hey boom let me go ahead and uh get my analyst you know to get a number and then i'll give you a call back so other than that dude i think it's good you ask when um you know you ask you know if you can make an offer when you'd be looking to sell what i say 30 days you know to move out um so I think I think Carlos, you're on the right path, man. Just keep doing what you're doing, dude. Appreciate, it, appreciate. It. Well, so I actually have a question for you. So um, mm -hmm. I was actually, I was actually calling like an hour ago, and, and there were, you know, one person asked me for like, oh, what's your company name? Like, what do you say, you know, when somebody asks you that? Uh, you know, kind of, I, I, I get stuck on that. Yeah, all you can say, dude, right now, you say, hey, I'm a local investor. I'm looking to buy my first rental property. Oh, okay. Yeah, I said that, and she and she, and she, and she was still like, well, no, but I need company name. I was like, and I, and I repeated myself again. And she was like. I don't know. It's like it just gets complicated when somebody brings that up. It doesn't happen often, of course, but you know it happens. Yeah, that's all you say, dude. Just say, "Hey, I'm a local investor. I'm looking to get into you know my first rental property. I don't have a company established. I'm doing everything under my personal name right now." Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but thank you so much, Ty. You know, I was hella nervous, but you know, we made it happen. <laughs> man, you did a good job, man. I appreciate it. Hey, look, everybody in the comments, go ahead and give them a round of applause. Clap them up. Show them some love, man. Cause he came up here. He did a good job. Now he about to get back on the phones and talk to more people. In business. For, sure, for sure. I know. I'll get to practicing. Thank you, Ty. Yeah, appreciate it, bro. All right. Thank you. Yep. All right. Boom. Shout out to Carlos. Good job, Carlos, man. That was great. Yeah, you guys show some love. You clap them up in the comments. Let them know that, you know, he did a good job. Because he did. He did. He did. He did. All right. Boom. So we got one more contestant. We got one more contestant. Are you guys feeling this? Are this good? You having fun? You learning? We good? All right. Let's check it out. Hmm. 
I need a little break. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right. So we got to get into the last one. The last one. The last contestant. All right. The last contestant. So if you guys are ready for contestant number three and question number three, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. Let me know we're ready to go. Let me know. 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 We're getting down to the wire. Down to the wire. All right. We got a thumbs up there. All right. See, I, look, I don't play around. I got a notepad and everything. I take this shit serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm writing down stuff. Y'all see? I, hey, I'm trying to make sure everybody's learning. All right, cool. We got some thumbs up. We all ready to go. All right. So question number three, contestant number three. Y'all ready? Get your thumbs ready. Get ready to type. So for all of you guys who just joined in, uh, we're doing the cold call role play. This is the second time we've done, done this. It was great the first time around. I think it's even better this time around. Um, I got the winner from the last time. He's pinned down here, Sir Faust. He's the champion from the last round, from the last call, the last role play we did. So, so far, we've already went through two contestants. Uh, we're only going to do one more contestant. That contestant will join the live with me, and I'll act as the seller. That contestant will act as the home, the, the buyer or wholesale investor, whatever you want to call yourself. And we'll go through a role play. I'll give you an objection, maybe one, maybe two. And uh, we'll see how you do with the role play. All right? Um, da -da 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 -da. So I got another objection. I think I threw somebody two objections at one time, so it kind of threw me off a little bit, but we good. Um, I'm going to do winners versus winners once we get – yeah, I'm going to do that. That's what's going to happen next. So I'm going to do all the three winners. After we do this three times, we're going to have the three winners go head to head. You know what I mean? And we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. So um, – so question number three, let's get ready. So question number three, get your thumbs ready. All right. Name one benefit of working with realtors. Name one benefit of working with realtors as a wholesaler, not as a homeowner, as a wholesaler. What is a benefit of working with realtors as a wholesaler? Comment down below. First one with the right answer, buyers. Boom, we're going to run that fun <laughs> network so queen p we're gonna run queen we go ahead and gonna bring her up go ahead so we got a lady going going up with us come on queen where you at queen p see you ready why is that <laughs> Okay, I'm so nervous. Okay, come on. Why? Because I'm horrible at cold calling. No, stop saying that. <laughs> no, the tongue is powerful. Okay, I'm great at it. Great. Oh, you know, that's what we need to hear. That's what we need to hear. Be careful what you say because your subconscious don't know the difference. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you're great. You're great. You're great. I'm great. Right. You know how this goes. Give you an objection. Do your thing. Ain't nobody else in here. It's just you and the seller. I'm a seller, right? Okay. I'm the... Ring. Real quick, you said what market are you out of? You in Alabama? Yeah, Birmingham and Montgomery. Birmingham and Montgomery. Okay. So anybody in Alabama, Birmingham, Montgomery specifically, go ahead and connect with Queen. You know what I'm saying? If you got some buyers. If you got some leads that you're getting under contract, she's working the business, she's active. So go ahead and connect and network, all right? Just give her a follow. All right, so I'm ready when you're ready. So ring me in and then we can get going. Ring, ring. Hello. Hi, my name is Queen. I'm reaching out about your property on Main Street. I was wondering if you were interested in the cash offer on your property. Yeah, sure. What, what's your offer? Okay, great. Um, first, I would like to get a little bit of information about the property. Do you have a minute to answer a few questions about your property for me? Yeah, what, what do you need to know? Sure. Okay, um, well, great. I just want to see if there's anything we can do to make an offer. The first thing I need to know is, is your property currently rented out, vacant, or are you living there? 
Uh, right now is rented out. We got tenants in there right now. Okay. Okay. Well, great. Um, are your tenants aware that you are looking to sell your property? Um, not yet. But once I get a good offer, then I'll let them know. Okay. Okay. That works out fine. Um, I may be interested in letting your tenants stay there. How have your tenants treated you so far? Um, so, so for the most part, they've been good. You know, uh, they pay on time, all the time, but you know, there's been a few times where, uh, they were, you know, a few days late, but other than that, they've been paying on time. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Um, so I would like to know a little bit about the condition of the property. Seeing that your property is rented, you have current tenants in it. When was the last time you did a checkup on the property? Uh, it's been probably about six months. Okay. About six months. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Can I ask you, I know it's early, but did you have any idea of where you would like to be at a minimum to go ahead and sell the property? Uh, as much as, as most as I can get possible. Okay. That's, that's fine. So tell me, have you made any repairs to the property before your tenants moved in? Any updates or anything like that? Um, yeah, we did. Uh, we updated the HVAC system. Uh, that was done probably about two years ago. Um, we did the, some flooring. We replaced the carpet in, in, the, uh, in the bedrooms upstairs. Um, and we did some paint, but that's pretty much it. Okay. How old, how, how, what's the age you would say is on their roof of, on your property? Uh, the roof is probably probably about 12 years old. Okay. And what about your cabinets? Uh, that's good condition. It's fine. Okay. okay. What condition would you say the property is in? Um, I know this is your property. I also see you have a couple of other properties in the neighborhood. Would you say it's in good condition, fair condition? Yeah, it's in good condition for sure. Okay. And I know you're not a contractor or anything, but if you could give me a number on the rehab of this property and what it would take for me to bring this property to 2022, what would you say that would be around? Uh, I'll be honest with you. I have no idea. You know, uh, oh, you guys are probably going to make it real nice with the, the porch countertops and all that stuff. So I have no clue. Okay. Okay. Um, so our plan is to buy the property as is. Um, the largest group of home buyers are currently looking for the grays and whites along with the modern style. Um, as a result, in our business, we are forced to do these upgrades, basically, you know, keeping up with the Joneses. So when we buy the property, we want to buy it as is. Mm -hmm. um, I probably will have to crunch, crunch some numbers with my partner um, and see what we can come up with to give you an offer on your property. When would be a good time for me to contact you? Uh, anytime after three. Okay. Well, I'll be sure to reach out and give you a call back. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. Yep. Bye. I right, talk to me. Talk to us. What you think? Um. I don't be knowing what to say after, like, I get to ask you questions about the condition of a property, honestly. Because after then, um, I mean, I don't know. I just be want to crunch the numbers and give the people an offer. It's just <laughs> awkward to me. <laughs> He's skipping first base. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you are better than what you think you are. I'm going to tell you that. Okay. I'm gonna <laughs> you're better than what you think you are. And here's how, this, here's how I know. Because I like your tonality, right? You sound confident on the phone. Those are all key traits that you need to have, right? Um, you built some rapport. When you ask about the tenants, that's amazing, right? Is it occupied? Is the tenant occupied? Is it your vacant, whatever? Then you got into it and asked about, you know, they're good tenants and things like that. Good opportunity to build rapport. Um, now, I'm going to kind of give you the same uh, kind of crit crit critique that I gave uh, Lisa earlier is just understanding that flow of the conversation, right? Condition, motivation, timeline, price, right? So we don't know why I want to sell the property. Uh, we don't know when I want to sell the property. And we don't know how much I want for the property, 
You see what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. those are the things that we kind of, we got the condition, right? You did a good job on the condition. Like you said, you get the condition out, but after that, you want to start running some numbers. But before you run the numbers, we need to find out, okay, well, if we do, um, you know, you can say, hey, well, it sounds like a nice property, man. You know, what's, what's kind of pointing you in the direction of selling? You see what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. that motivation. You see what I mean? That's how you get that motivation now. Well, I'm selling because the tenants, you know, lately they, they've been missing payments. Like I said, they make payments, but sometimes they pay late, you know, or I want to, you know, uh, liquidate my portfolio. You know what I mean? Um, or I just don't want to be a landlord anymore. So you want to find out, like, dig deeper onto why they want to sell the property. Um, so jump into that motivation a little bit. And then the timeline, right? So you can go, hey, if we're able to make a price work for you, well, how soon are you looking to get the process started? Right. How soon are you looking to get the paperwork started? Right. Um, and then also I'm going to wrap back around to the tenant part. You want to find out if they're on a month to month lease or are they on a yearly lease. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's important. So add that into uh, your questions about tenant occupancy. Right. If they're on a month to month or they're on the lease, because that's important for your buyer to know. Um, but other than that, like I said, you want to. And then lastly, the price. Right. I see you made an attempt to try to get the price out. But we got to keep pressing that button. Mm -hmm. Got to keep pressing that button, right? So um, I, I be like, Ugh. <laughs> here's why we want to do that, right? Because um, sometimes, like, because they always say, "He who gives the price first loses," right? That's what they say, right? Because what if I gave you a price that's way below what I was, what you was going to offer me, right? You know what I mean? Um, so you kind of want to try to get that price out as much as you can. You asked about like uh, repairs and things like that, and that's cool. There's nothing wrong with that because sometimes they'll tell you, yeah, you know, it probably costs about thirty grand. We got that in our in our process too. You know, we'll throw that in there if we can. Um, but you actually want to find out. Okay, well, well, let me ask you this, Ty. Um, based on the condition as the property sits right now, how much do you feel that is worth? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's a good question right there. Now, if they hit you with a, I don't know, uh, this and that, uh, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Well, what we got, we got another question for that, right? After that, okay, not a problem. Well, have you been do doing any any research in your area? Do you know, you know, what properties in your area have been selling for? Right? And then if he says, yeah, they've been selling for this and that, right? Then be like, okay, well, is that? a price that you're looking to get for your property kind of like on the last call right with carlos right he said he asked me do we know what houses are selling for in the area i said like two hundred thousand. he came back and said is that something you're looking to get and i was like more right hopefully more and he was like what maybe like ten thousand more twenty thousand more right so you just want to get a number out of them at some point right um mm -hmm. now let's say this seller did, doesn't know what the house is sold for right now and that's when we go ahead and we go straight for the throat all right well, how much do you want for the house? What is what are you asking for the house? What price would you be happy with selling the house for? Questions like that to get a number out of them. And then from there, once you get that number out of them, even if you can make that number work before you even before you even give it to you, just say, hey, well, my job is to try to see the best I can do. You know, try to make that number work for you. Let me check with my analyst. Uh, let me check with my manager. Let me see what we can do. Let's run some numbers, and I'll give you a call back to. Um, to get you a firm offer. Does that sound good? And then you say, yes. Okay, boom. And then that's when you get this email, say, well, let me get your email in the meantime so I can send you some company information so you can review it. And company information, I know a lot of people have questions about this. Well, what are you sending your company information? Just basic stuff. Hey, your name, company name. Uh, it only have to be your company. It only have to be a company name. It could be just you, right? Hey, you know, it's me, you know, I'm a local, it's Queen, a local investor looking to purchase, you know, property in the area. Um, you know, we've acquired, you can make this shit up too, right? If you have your LLC already, make it up. Hey, work with this company. We purchased this amount of properties in the last year, da, 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 da. The reason we help sellers in situations that, you know, have bad tenants, behind on payments, da, 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 the normal shit. The best way to find company information Google, we buy houses, go to somebody else's fucking website and see what their benefits are and create it. If it says about us, copy and paste that. Same shit, wholesale stuff. I have it. I have all of that. I just crash when I get on the phone with <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So just, it just sounds like, okay, for you, 
You just need to kind of format your flow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you got the confidence, you have the tonality, you have the pace. It's just you have to format your flow of questioning so you don't forget stuff, forget information. That's all it is. But you did great. I, I'm not, hey, look, you got it. I don't care what you say, Toss. I'm, I'm not good. Shit. <laughs> the more you do it, the better you'll be. I promise you. And people are going to work with you just because of how you are, because of your tone, your confidence. People are going to work with you off the rip. I guarantee you. That's what has really won me over. I got this week. I've got three contracts, and all the call, all the calls is horrible. But it's just like you being you, liking me. <laughs> you. That's what this game is about. You being you. If they can't accept you for who you are, fuck them and move on to the next person. You know. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Good <laughs> job. Hey. Y'all go ahead and go ahead and give Queen some claps in here. Y'all show some love. Thank you, Queen. You did great. You Thanks. did freaking great. Uh, yeah, y'all go ahead and show her some love in the comments. She did a great freaking job. I know y'all was showing love already. So I do not know how to get out of here, how I exit out. I think you just hit the X to the right, top right, and I think it probably jumps down or something. Um... Yeah. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. So what do you guys think so far? What do you guys think so far? She was the last contestant, the third contestant. She did freaking great. I don't care what nobody says. Um, everybody did great. I don't care what nobody says. And I'm going to just say this. I'm going to go on my little soapbox a little bit. Um, like I was telling her, it was, I'm, when I'm speaking to people on the live, I'm speaking to everybody. What you say is very important, right? It's going to build confidence. Um, so make sure the, the power of the tongue is, is powerful. So speak positivity about yourself. I am the best. I am the, I am the shit, right? Whatever it is, can't nobody compete with me. You got to talk to yourself like that because that's going to actually bring the best out of you. You know what I mean? Um, just think about it. when you feel like shit, you say you, you feel like shit, and then you start feeling like shit, right? When you feel great, oh, I feel good. I feel good. It's just gonna, that's just how it's going to be. Um, so I just want to say great job to everybody. Everybody did freaking phenomenal. Uh, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, it's time to vote. It is time to vote, okay? We're about to vote for the people, all right? So how the voting work is this. So I'm going to go ahead, and um, I'm going to tally up the votes, right? So I'm going to tally up the votes. Uh, everybody has, I'm going to probably put a little over, I'm going to probably put about 30 seconds to vote, right? I know some of you guys have bad internet, bad Wi-Fi. Um, so you probably vote comes in a little late. So uh, we're going to have a little window after that. But we're going to do 30-second timer. We're going to vote for, we're going to go to each contestant, contestant number one, then we're going to vote. Then we're going to go to contestant number two. Then we're going to vote. Contestant number three, then we're going to vote. And then from there, we'll decide the winner based off of the amount of votes that they have, right? Um, and the way we're going to vote is fire emojis, all right? Fire emojis. So um, each person who puts a fire emoji, that's going to count as one vote. I don't care how many fire emojis you put, but um, if you put – a fire emoji, only one, one one vote per person. One vote. One vote per contestant, all right? Uh, you can't be voting for everybody. Pick one and stick with that, all right? So we're going to get to the vote. So I'm going to go ahead and put the line now because I'm going to have a line for when the vote stop and when the vote start. Hold on one second. Let me get this up real quick. I am having fun up in here. Are you guys learning stuff? Is this exciting? Is this fun? All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to put a whole bunch of these to go across. So the voting will start after, after this right here. So for contestant number one, we got contestant number one. Contestant number one was Lisa. Lisa was contestant number one at she underscore ref underscore. All right. So contestant number one, everybody who's voting for contestant number one, go ahead and get started voting up under my green emojis. 
Drop a fire emoji, flame, flame. Come on now, show some love. Contestant number one. I'm gonna run that back because it seemed like y'all take it too long to vote. I'm gonna do it again. So we got two so far. Come on, show some love. Let's go ahead and vote. Go ahead and vote. Go ahead and vote. Go ahead and vote. What we got? All right. All right, so we got three for contestant number one. Three for contestant number one. I'm going to go ahead and put mine down. Four. You got one for me. Four. All right. Oh, we got five. There go another one right there. We got five for contestant number one. Okay, we got six. They coming in late. They coming in late. They coming in late. Six for contestant number one. Six for contestant number one. All right. Now, we're going to go to contestant number two which was Carlos, Carlos Silva, Carlos Silva. Contestant number two, I'm gonna go ahead and comment my emojis. All his flames start now. If you're voting for contestant number two, Carlos, drop the fire emoji now. <laughs> I'm encouraging everybody's votes. We got two. Come on, show some love. Show some love. What we got? We got three. Got three. Got three from contestant number two. I'm going to run it back again. That was too short. Let's vote. Contestant number two. Contestant number two. One, two, three. Got four. Got five. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One, two, three, four, five. All right. All right. Contestant number two ended up with five votes. Five votes. All right. Five votes. Five votes. All right. So now for the last contestant, oh, we got six votes. That one came in late. All right, got six. I oh, got seven. They coming in late like that? All right, seven votes. Seven votes. That's it for that. That's it for contestant number two. All right. So now, yeah, you got seven. I counted it up. I counted it up. They came in a little late. It might be my Wi-Fi. All right, cool. He got seven. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. I'm all about the people. The people win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now contestant number three, Queen P. Queen P.E. Queen P.E. So if anybody voting for Queen P.E., go ahead and comment the fire emoji up under my emojis starting now. Let's go. Fire emojis for Queen P. P.E. Come on now. Show some love. Let's get some votes going. We got one. Let's count them up. We got two. Three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> she voted for herself. Eight. <laughs> Got nine. I'm going to run it back again because everybody had a minute. Let's keep it coming. Let's see what else we got. See what else we got. Okay. I don't think there's no need to vote anymore, huh? She already won it. I just want to give her a just do. Let me give her a just do. You know what I mean? All right, cool. So shout out to Queen. The people have decided. Queen, you are the winner. You are the winner. 
Um, shout out to you. You did a great job. I'm going to bring you back up here really quick. Um, shout out to everybody that voted. Definitely, definitely need you guys participation for this. Queen! <laughs> Thanks, y'all. What the hell, Queen? <laughs> I'm surprised. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> look, uh, listen, look, Queen, Queen tried to downplay herself in the beginning, and then she ended up showing out. See, I see what you did. I see what you tried to do. I see what you tried to do. Then you're gonna talk, so you got three contracts signed. See, I see what you tried to do. <laughs> Y'all see what you try to do? Man. <laughs> nah, shout out to you. Um, everybody, show love to Queen. She did good. Great job. Um, shout out to all the contestants as well. Great job. But overall, I just want the, the overall uh, point of this was for everybody to learn. Um, so if you guys learned something, uh, please comment below uh, 100 emojis. Just comment something down below to let me know that you guys were actually learn you guys enjoyed this because that'll let me know if we can do it again you know what i mean um so comment that below um but queen this is what you want i'm gonna tell you what you want all right so queen you have won yourself um a coaching call with me one hour zoom we can go over whatever the hell you want to go over right we can start from a to z everything if you want to go over comps if you want to see how we pull our list if you want to see the virtual assistants or how we hire our virtual assistant, um, any questions that you may have, full transparency, you got me for an hour to answer all of that. Um, you also, we also got you, you won, you get free access to the private Discord group, Wholesale Unity. Uh, it's our private group, group chat. It's kind of like a mentorship chat, but it's our community, people in there closing deals. Uh, we have challenges. We have monthly Zoom call as well. We just had one a few days ago about finding cash buyers and how to find them and finding hedge funds and all that stuff too. So very valuable group. So you got access to that for free. So shout out to you. Um, just send me, send me your email so I can send you the link to it so you can get you plugged in on that. All right. And then just communicate with me and let me know when's a good time to do the zoom call sometime next week. But um, so we got queen is the winner and Sir Faust, that's the competition. So what we're going to do the next time, we're going to do this one more time. And it's going to be, we're going to have three people and we're going to have your, you three guys in a finale. That's what we do. It's going to be all the three winners in a finale. All right. So I'll be, I'll be better by then. I'm going to be better. Yeah. By then you'll be better. You got two months. <laughs> you got I'm two months. Ready. I can't him talking crap. I'm going to be ready for him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. Can we cont can we ask contestants one final question? Um, I guess you can. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand what you're saying, Lisa. But yeah, Queen. Just um. Yeah. Just send me a DM. I send you a DM. However you want to do it. Uh, and I'll get you set up for the Zoom, and I'll get you set up for the group chat and everything like that. But um, how was it? It was great. It was great. Thank you for the opportunity. I also want to say Lisa and Car was it Carlos? Yeah. Lisa and Carlos, you guys both did great. Kudos to you guys for even getting out here because I know y'all was nervous too, but you guys definitely did great. And thanks everybody for voting for me. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Lisa want to ask a question. What you got, Lisa? Go ahead and ask it. What she ask it? Faust, I'm going to have to put you down, bro. It's not your day no more. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Put the queen up there. Put me up there. Yeah, I'm about to put the queen up there. It's not your day, Faust. It's not your day. Uh... Yeah, but, um, yeah, what she won, Harry, she won a uh, Zoom call with me, and she got access to my private Discord group, Wholesale Unity. Uh, That's what she won on the house, so. Uh, a lot of value there. She's getting everything from me. All the game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. So the next one, so the next uh, cold call role play will probably be next month. I don't want to do it too much where it's getting watered down. So uh, we get some time for people to prepare, get ready. You know what I'm saying? Step their game up. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be in a month. And, uh, yeah, just wanted to uh, – let me see. She ain't comment yet, but yeah, just 
Uh, and Skip Trace is the most expensive. You asking questions about something else, Exola. Uh, but yeah, so Queen, appreciate you. I'm gonna go ahead and let you get back to what you're doing. Congratulations, congratulations on your on your contracts. Uh, congratulations for everything. Shout out to everybody. I appreciate you guys for uh, having the courage to come up here and get the shit done and do it. Uh, and like I said, the overall goal was to help each other out. So if we've done that, then I think the mission is accomplished. You know what I mean? Thanks, Ty. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, how would I make a good marketing business? Um, I don't understand the question, Lisa. Just hit me up. Hit, you can either hit Queen up or hit me up in a, uh, on DM. I'll answer it for you. Um, but, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and head up out of here, man. Make sure you guys go enjoy y'all Saturdays. Be on the lookout for the next one. It's going to come around in about a month, so I'll be posting about it, things like that. Uh, be on the lookout for the next live. If you guys need any resources, click the link in my bio. Uh, you get discounts on a whole bunch of shit that you need to operate the business, contracts, all that shit. So just click the link in my bio. If you need some stuff, just look at it. Don't pay full price for this stuff, all right? Uh, get the discounts, get the value, uh, and, you know, stay on the lookout for some more videos from me. Some more creative shit from me. Um, and, yeah, so you guys get active, stay busy, and I appreciate everybody. I will be posting this on YouTube as well. So if anybody missed the whole thing, I'm going to post it on YouTube so you guys can look at it again, all right? But I'm out.